you talk, it's only a matter of time. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the most memorable and entertaining shows from Disney. This will not include any shows imported from other countries or studios. Sorry, Bluey fans. Number 20, The New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. I was just passing by, and I thought, if it were not too much trouble, might I... Borrow a small smackerel of honey. A decade after the release of The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, Christopher Robin's silly old bear was given an all-new set of stories in the aptly titled New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Although it ended in 1991, the series is still considered a beloved adaptation by modern-day fans, with Tokyo Disneyland releasing merchandise based on one of its episodes as recently as 2021. The show was praised for its faithfulness to A.A. A. Milne's original stories, as well as its instantly lovable cast of characters. This included old favorites like Pooh, Tigger, Piglet, and Eeyore, as well as new additions like Kesey, Rabbit's adopted daughter, who would go on to appear in the puppet-based series The Book of Pooh. With pills to run, and higher trees to climb, and someone there to catch you in the nick of time. Number 19. Fillmore. Recess wasn't the only Disney cartoon that portrayed school as a microcosm of the real world. Fillmore frequently dealt with metaphor and parody, translating serious societal ills into a child-friendly setting. The difference being Fillmore's narrow focus on crime, inspired by 1970s police procedurals. Smart, witty writing allowed the show's main character to investigate attempted assassinations, chemical terrorism, and even police corruption without threatening its place in a kid-friendly cartoon lineup. Its pilot episode even directly parried the R-rated Silence of the Lambs. Uninspired, unemotional, uninteresting, unimportant. We didn't come here for an art critique, Julian. Although the series largely flew under the radar and was canceled far too soon, its creator would later make his mark on television in a big way, serving as a writer and showrunner for The Walking Dead. And hey, look, it was one thing standing around here picking daisies when we thought this place was supposed to be safe, but now we know it ain't. Number 18, Amphibia. Oh, hey, it's Maple. Run! Whether you're looking for a complex coming-of-age story in a fantasy setting or a light-hearted and comedic adventure, Amphibia has it all. Created by a former Gravity Falls director, Amphibia's story began with a girl named Anne, finding herself trapped in a magical world of talking amphibians after opening a multi-dimensional music box. The unconventional instrument is stolen by the character at the insistence of her friends, Sasha and Marcy, who are also transported to the strange new amphibious land. That's your only way home. Maybe I don't want to go home and rule a school. Maybe I want to stay here and rule a kingdom. You're bluffing. Try me! Coming from three very different perspectives, the girls are finally given a chance to grow, on their own and together. It's a cleverly written and fast-paced story that has appealed to child and adult fans alike. Number 17, Milo Murphy's Law. I think you know, and I know, that it's time we went on the scariest lard-based ride, Grease Thunder! Weird Al Yankovic stars as Milo Murphy in this entertaining animated series from the creator of Phineas and Ferb. Milo is the descendant of real-world aerospace engineer Edward A. Murphy Jr., who coined the adage Murphy's Law, which states that anything that can go wrong will go wrong. As one might expect, this translates literally for the show's hapless protagonist, whose entire life seems to be an endless parade of bad luck. Fortunately, Milo's perpetual positive disposition and close friends Melissa and Zach help to even things out. The show is directly connected to its creator's previous series, with more than a few fun Easter eggs referencing Phineas and Ferb's adventures, while also being a hilarious and charming show in its own right. Wait, you're not the pizza delivery guy. This is my pizza delivery guy trap. Number 16, American Dragon, Jake Long. Not we, you. Me? As in alone? Solo? This cool teen has a hidden hot temper. American Dragon Jake Long's title character is a Chinese-American kid living in New York City, whose grandpa has been preparing him to take on the mantle of the American Dragon. 
This title naturally leads to a lot of action-packed fight and chase sequences, as Jake attempts to safeguard the city's magical creatures against the evil Hunts clan. There's just one catch. One of the Hunts clan's members is Jake's schoolboy crush, Rose. Rose, it's me. Jake? This tricky dynamic complicates the show's good versus evil setup and creates a compelling enemies to lovers drama that makes American Dragon stand out from its peers. The show's second season thankfully recognizes the romance as the show's heart and cements the series spot amongst Disney Channel greats. Number 15, Rapunzel's Tangled Adventure. Reuniting film actors Mandy Moore and Zachary Levi, Rapunzel's Tangled Adventure is the kind of sequel that fans dream of. It brilliantly expands on the characters introduced in Tangle as they settle into their new environment and features award-winning original music on par with the songs of the film. I hear my cue, and yet I'm kept there waiting, what to do. In contrast to the Disney Princess series that came before it, the show focuses on season-long story arcs in addition to traditional episodic adventures, allowing Rapunzel, Eugene, and new additions Cassandra and Varian to grow as individuals. Thrilling twist and compelling drama book in each of the seasons, keeping new and old fans alike on their toes until the very end. Please, this is not who you are. Wrong! I finally know who I am. Number 14, Lilo and Stitch the Series. Aww, isn't he cute? He's got your style. Lilo and Stitch's once small Ohana grows exponentially in this Disney Channel spinoff of the 2002 film. The series, which begins with a direct-to-video film, seeks to give names and faces to Stitch's 625 predecessors, whom he and Lilo refer to as his cousins. Each experiment has its own unique look, interests, and powers, which the audience discovers alongside the show's protagonist. It's a cute concept, not unlike a laid-back and battle-free version of the then-popular Pokemon anime. Interestingly, the show also provided Disney Channel with some of its best animated crossover episodes, featuring characters from American Dragon and Kim Possible, as well as the typical fantasy-free Recess and the Proud family. Aloha, Lilo. I'm Penny Proud. That's a cute... Uh, dog, did you say? Number 13, Star vs. the Forces of Evil. Disney's very own magical girl show, and the first show on Disney XD to be helmed by a female creator. Star vs. the Forces of Evil follows reluctant Muni princess Star Butterfly, who is sent to Earth by her parents to continue training after a magical mishap. Don't worry, Mom. I can handle it. <laughs> There, she meets human boy Marco Diaz, with whom she has a series of madcap adventures. Over the course of its four seasons, the pair's relationship became the show's beating heart, which dismayed some fans and delighted others. Regardless of shipping drama, however, the show's story-driven plots about Star's disenchantment with Muni always spoke to its true potential as a series, and ensured its longevity in the hearts of kid and adult fans alike. Let me listen to your heartbeat. For just one minute. Oh, okay. Number 12, House of Mouse. Hey, Lumiere! Thanks for being my guest! <laughs> if you ever wish you could see all your favorite Disney characters together in one spot, House of Mouse is the show for you. One of Disney Plus's most glaring omissions, this unique animated series stars the Fab Five as hosts and waiters at the titular Cartoon Club. While each episode introduces a new problem for the gang to solve, the most memorable aspect of this cartoon is not its plot, but its creative use of pre-existing characters to create new scenes. Everyone from Pinocchio to the Haunted Mansion's hitchhiking ghosts show up at Mickey's Club throughout its 52 episodes in two feature-length films. For lifelong Disney fans, it's like a dream come true. Number 11, Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Before they were voiced by Andy Samberg and John Mulaney in the darkly satirical live action hybrid film, Chippendale were solving crimes with their pals on the small screen in Rescue Rangers. Who are you guys? We're the Rescue Rangers. We're going to get you back to your little girl. 
Premiering in 1989 before being reran as part of the Disney Afternoon lineup, this series rode the line between revolutionary 80s cartoon and 90s kid classic. Regardless of which generation you belong to though, there is no denying how fun it was to tune into the show's small crime adventure setup week after week. Alongside the rest of Disney Afternoon, Rescue Rangers popularity eventually inspired comics, video games, and a Disney Park stage show featuring Gadget alongside Chip and Dale in their Ranger outfits. But you wanna know what the best part about this is? Not really. It's the neat costume I get to wear. Number 10, The Owl House. Protagonist Luz Naceda and Amity Blight broke new ground for LGBTQ plus representation when they became the first same-sex couple made up of lead characters in a Disney-owned property. The pair would also provide Disney with its first same-sex kiss between two protagonists while recurring character Rain Whispers became the studio's first ever non-binary character. All right, I'm Ida Clothorn. Rain Whispers. This massive step for Disney's TV animation department was only made better by the show's commitment to engaging storytelling and character development. One of the channel's most lore-heavy shows since Gravity Falls, The Owl House built up a complex magical world that its human protagonist discovered alongside its viewers. Unfortunately for the viewers, the show was unceremoniously cut short, leading to what some considered a rushed final season. Because of you, we can finish our work as witch hunters, starting with that! Number 9. Star Wars Rebels Hey, just so you know, when I escape, I won't hurt any of you. Yeah, that's great, kid. I feel real safe. You shouldn't. Although live-action Star Wars series like The Mandalorian and Andor have taken Disney Plus by storm, the franchise's animated stories shouldn't be discounted. Rebels is one of Lucasfilm Animation's most impressive achievements, giving audiences a glimpse into life in a galaxy far, far away, 14 years after the rise of the Galactic Empire. It stars a ragtag group of rebels headed by orphan teenager Ezra Bridger, who grow up to become a makeshift family by the series' end. Their story allowed for an easy introduction to the world of Star Wars for new fans, while cameos by beloved heroes and villains were enthusiastically welcomed by older ones. We need you to defeat the Empire. What you need, you already have. Unfortunately, you seem to be letting it all go. Number 8. Darkwing Duck Another night cleansed of its criminal element, thanks to Darkwing Duck! When Rocky and Bullwinkle reboot, fell through at Disney due to a misinterpretation of the studio's rights to the characters, a DuckTales spinoff was proposed as a replacement. Inspired by select episodes of the popular series, Darkwing Duck was born, starring a new character by the name of Drake Mallard. Though it would never reach the same level of popularity as its inspiration, the show held its own as a witty slapstick superhero series with a lovable cast of anthropomorphic avians. Despite its comedic angle, its action-packed fight sequences would add a necessary punch to the Disney Afternoon lineup, an iconic programming block that it would continue to be part of for five years after its final episode. I've done it again! I've saved the city from the scheming scourge of scurryless scum! Number 7. Gargoyles While other Disney cartoons may be able to point to a handful of scenes that felt too intense for their target audience, few shows on the network were as consistently dark as Gargoyles. The series didn't pull any punches when it came to depicting conflict, choosing to show blood and even including Nazi adversaries for its protagonists to face when they travel back to the 1940s. We're not important! Unless the Nazis have stopped here and now, the future of the entire world is in jeopardy. A cast of fleshed out characters and the addition of romance added depth to the darkness and made the show a weekly must see for an older demographic. It's admittedly hard to imagine this show airing alongside the likes of Timon and Pumbaa and Jungle Cubs, but we're very glad it did. Number 6. The Proud Family At a time when most black characters were relegated to sidekick or background roles, the Proud Family burst onto the scene with a diverse cast headed by a young black girl and her chaotic family. The show was a frequently funny and always heartfelt coming-of-age story that interpersed the African-American culture and history into its episodes. 
This included some pretty significant cameo appearances from the likes of Alicia Keys, Kobe Bryant, and even famed R&B singer Lou Rawls. You got a family that loves you so very much, and as long as you got that baby, believe me, you got all that you need. For its efforts, the show received several NAACP nominations, ultimately winning for Cedric the Entertainer's hilarious performance as Oscar's brother, Bobby Proud. Merry Christmas, y'all. And my brother-in-law, Bobby. And a happy Hanukkah, too, for Liz Navidad. Number five, Recess. You know, Randall, it occurs to me that as long as children have each other, discipline is impossible. When the bell rings for recess, the kids of Third Street Elementary School are set free. From their teachers, that is. On the playground, a new social order has been created, with sixth grader King Bob serving as its purportedly impartial ruler. Series protagonists TJ, Mikey, Spinelli, Vince, Gretchen, and Gus serve as the show's beacons of individuality, often fighting against what they consider to be injustices. On its surface, the show is a fun ensemble-based cartoon with an interesting premise for kids. But for adults, the seemingly simplistic show will gain new meaning as they catch more of the series' metaphorical plot lines meant to mirror the world we live in. I only got entered in this contest because some kids thought it was a funny joke. Then I stayed in because I wanted to win. But the truth is, this isn't me. This is me. <gasps> Number 4. DuckTales It's difficult to reboot a show as iconic as DuckTales. But the 2017 version of the show may be even better than its popular predecessor. Huey, Dewey, and Louie have been given distinctive personalities in this modern retelling, and Webby finally feels like a full-fledged character instead of a female sidekick. <laughs> and that's why you don't scream while sinking in quicksand. Webby, please don't tell me how to die! The show also thankfully manages to avoid the kind of racial insensitivity that led to some of the 1987 series episodes being omitted from Disney+. Although this reboot was primarily made to attract newcomers to the old franchise, it's not without its nods to the 80s and 90s Disney eras. Eagle-eyed fans have noticed cameos from Max Goof, Bonkers, and even the characters of the one-off TV special, Fluffy Dog. Cracker Jack. A clown. Bushroot. A houseplant. Liquidator. A cup of water. Megavolt. Yikes. Number three, Kim Possible. You know the drill. Call her, beep her, if you want to reach her, if you want to page her, well, maybe we need to travel back to the 2000s for that one. That is when Kim Possible was popular after all. <laughs> my compact, I've been looking for this. What's that do? It's a small mirror that allows me to check my face. Although the show was far from the first about a female action hero, it set itself apart from its peers by making its protagonist a regular girl. Kim had no special powers. She was just a cheerleader with an arsenal of spy gadgets, a relatable heroine, and girls and boys alike loved it. The series was the first from Disney Channel to debut at number one in the US and had the highest rated premiere for the channel at the time of its release. You saved us. It's a hero thing. Wow, this is awkward. We must never speak of it again. Fair enough. Number two, Phineas and Ferb. Ferb, I know what we're gonna do today. There's 104 days of summer vacation, and if anyone knows how to spend them, it's Phineas and Ferb. The stepbrothers spend their finite days of freedom creating their own forms of adventure and excitement, accomplishing everything from becoming a one-hit wonder to producing their own animated cartoon. Meanwhile, the boy's pet platypus Perry misses out on these day-long activities for adventures of his own with the hilarious incompetent Dr. Doofensmurf. What kind of a plumber are you? <laughs> A platypus plumber? Perry the platypus plumber? Though the series originally ended in 2015, future seasons were announced to be in the works in 2023. And honestly, we can't blame Disney for wanting more. The show is timeless, with catchy songs and brilliant humor sure to entertain kids for generations. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Gravity Falls Could it have been anything else? 
After a short period of cartoon releases that flew under the radar, Gravity Falls re-established Disney Channel as the place to watch children's animation. Who's that? Well, time to spill the beans. Rope. Beans. The show's twin protagonists were instantly likable, and its ever-unfolding mystery provided welcome fodder for animation fans of all ages to dig into and dissect. Bill Cipher's addition to the cast provided a genuine threat to the typically lighthearted series, while mysteries surrounding Dipper and Mabel's Grunkle Stan had fans questioning who could really be trusted. Why would they call him unnamed? Unless Stan... Isn't... Stan? Stan? The series has also continued to make an impact on the Disney brand well after its finale, with shows like Amphibia and The Owl House coming directly from former Gravity Falls crew. Trust us, we beat him before, and we'll beat him again! Did we miss any of your favorite animated shows from Disney Channel, Disney XD, or even ABC's One Saturday Morning? Let us know in the comments down below. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.